Mortgage Bankers Association just came out and said mortgage applications increased 27.9% from one week earlier. This could mean buyers are getting tired of sitting on the sidelines and are starting to get prepared to make a move. Year over year, we are still down 35% for purchase applications. And Wells Fargo, who was once the number one player in mortgages, is stepping back from their housing market. So what do they know, but the rest of us don't? I wanted to share a story with you. Now we were showing some out-of-state clients over the weekend new homes. So some of them were resale, some of them were brand new homes. We took them to a couple new builds and one of the new build agents came to us and said, listen, if your clients like this house, it was currently listed around the $599, $600,000 mark. They said they would drop the price $90,000 on the spot. I'm assuming that this agent had permission from the builder to give us this information, but that's crazy. $90,000 just by talking to them and asking them, is this the best you can do on the price? Welcome to the Good News Real Estate channel where we talk about real, honest, data-driven events here in Boise and beyond. Who are these builders that are giving this away? Now, I would normally share that with you, except this isn't public information, and I don't wanna ruin that for these other clients that we have coming to the market, potentially ruining their opportunity for us negotiating down a lower price for them. Are these builders willing to negotiate on prices? As we're showing you these things, just make sure your agent is doing the research and possibly doing the things that we are. Let's check out this map from RJ Talks. RJ puts this graph together based off of Zillow's data. And if you wanna play with it yourself, there's a link in the description below. Now let's look at this map and see the effects of the buyer demand here in the Boise Treasure Valley market. Top 50 cities that have had the largest price reductions from June to December. As you can see, Boise is in one of this, like we've been preaching since May, but also Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, Reno, Sacramento. Also up here, we got Vancouver, Washington, Seattle, Washington. Idaho is a non-disclosure state, meaning that we don't have to disclose the sales price. And this limits databases like Zillow. So we just took five builders, five builders and one eye buyer in our market. What did the home sell for over the last month and a half? How many homes sold? did they sell? And then how many active homes are on the market? So Open Door, an eye buyer that's here in our market, they currently have 40 homes listed and they sold 12 homes between December 1st, 2022 to the present. Now a handful of these homes were sold below list price. And if you guys followed our channel, you saw that a couple months ago, we lowballed Open Door to see what they would do, and they would only come down about $5,000, which amounted to maybe 1%. But what we see now, there was three homes that sold double digits under the current list price. Eight of those homes sold for anywhere from 6 to 7% under the list price. That is insane. Only one of them sold for 3% under the list price. Now, Lennar, they are a national builder that are building in our market. They currently have seven active homes, and they sold five between December and now. Out of those homes that they sold, dropped anywhere from one and a half percent all the way up to 4%. So not a big decrease, but something else I wanna make note of is on their website, they're saying that we will reduce our price up to $60,000. So you wanna make sure if you're gonna buy a Lennar home, you're trying to get those incentives. Another builder that we looked at is Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers, again, is a national builder that's building in our area. They sold 16 spec homes. They sold more than that, but 60 of them were spec homes. I wanna note something here. Out of those 16 homes that they sold, there was two that were sold for 0% under list price. And what's crazy about it is the listing agent was the one that was representing them. Why do I bring that up? Because all the other 14 homes that were sold underneath the list price, we're being represented by an outside agent. You guys gotta remember that the listing agent is hired and paid for by the builder. And if you wanna get a good deal on a price, it's sometimes better to bring in an outside agent and negotiate on your behalf. Another builder developer that we looked at was Brighton Homes. So Brighton's, again, they're a national company that are building here in our market. Not only do they develop, not only do they build, but they also hold multifamily. So currently they have 26 active single family homes and they sold six homes between December and now. Out of those six homes, a majority of those homes were sold for anywhere from four to 7% under the last listed price. So when you're going to make an offer on these homes, again, remember, don't plan on making a full price offer, but go in under the last listed price. It's KB Homes, again, a national builder. They have currently have nine active homes in our market. And when we called the agent and they haven't sold anything from December till now, at least any spec homes. When I called the agent to see, hey, what's going on with you guys? How's the inventory moving? What's your activity been like? The agent told us they are super negotiable. And so they are willing willing to negotiate on price just to get their inventory moved. Right now, Hayden Homes, they're offering $20,000 to you, the buyer, or helping you buy down your interest rate to 5.5%. Because again, the affordability is not there with interest rates at six or higher. So they are trying to help you bring down your interest rate. So they're offering you $20,000 right off the top. And there's many more of the builders in our area that are offering things, but we 
Don't have time to go into that. So I just want to remind you, when you're going in, if you're going to buy a new construction home or even a home that's been sitting vacant for a while, go in there and plan to negotiate. If you if you don't have an agent that's going to negotiate for you, maybe you should look at getting a different one. It is our duty, it is our job to write offers how you've asked us to write them. I mean, just over the weekend, I had a subscriber reach out to me and said, hey, we're not working with this agent anymore because they weren't willing to offer low. They wanted to keep these prices inflated instead of coming in at the price that we wanted to. So I just want to really, really encourage you guys, go in there, aggressive, negotiate, and win. So let's take a look at the Twin Falls stats and data. Many of you guys have asked that we would cover this area. So here we go. We did a little bit of research and now we're going to jump right into it. Now, according to the MLS, a total of 1,449 homes were sold in the greater Twin Falls area. This is a slight decrease from 2015, where we saw 1,474 homes sold. As of now, there are 367 active listings on the market, which give us a supply of roughly 3.9 months worth of inventory. Now, out of those 367 listings, 207 of them are vacant homes. And let's take a look at the median sales price for both resale and new construction as a whole. Peak of the median sales price as a whole for the Magic Valley area was in April, where it reached $355,000 for the median home sales price. However, in December, we saw a 16% decrease to 300,000. As for new construction homes, the sales price has been fluctuating, bouncing back and forth. As we can see here, the median sales price for homes in the Twin Falls area has been quite volatile. In April, the median sales price was 400,000, but it quickly climbed to 425 and in May and then up to 429. However, it then dropped to 422,000. Then it jumped way up to 470 5,000 in August. And in September, the median sales price dropped again to 440 and then dropped to 436. In October, before climbing back up to 472 in November. It's worth noting that with a relatively small number of new construction homes sold in the Twin Falls area in 2022, it's kind of difficult to get a clear picture of being able to break out new construction versus resale homes. With only 329 homes sold in the entire year of 2022, that gives us an average of 28 homes sold per month. This limited data can make it harder to identify clear trends or patterns in the median sales price, let's take a look at what the builders are doing or offering with their current inventory on the market. According to the data, there is about 4.8 months supply of new construction homes on the market. Because of this fact, it's showing that home builders in the area are becoming a little bit more desperate to sell. For instance, over 40% of the new construction homes on the market have been listed for four months or more. Some builders have even dropped their prices by as much as 20%. Others are offering incentives, saying sellers are motivated, or saying, let's get creative, bring us a buyer. A lot of them are offering buyer bonuses to the buyer's agents on top of the seller concessions. This suggests that if the demand in new construction homes continues to slow down, builders may be forced to lower their prices even further in order to move their inventory. Based off of this, this data that we just briefly looked at, what I think could potentially happen is builders are gonna continue to have to drop their prices to compete with the inventory that's coming on the market for resale. Now there's about a hundred to $150,000 difference between the median sales price for resale homes and new construction homes. And as these new construction homes come down, so will the rest of the market. 